Hi everyone, it's Tamara, back with another video. Hope you guys are doing well today. Um, let's jump into a, a new angle of our psychotherapy crash course. So we've been talking a lot about depression and anxiety and we talked about bipolar and we talked about the Dunning-Kruger effect. And, and so I wanna use this time to talk about what I consider the greatest evil of all and that's toxic jealousy. And the reason why I wanna start off with this is because, um, yeah, today's Wednesday. So the reason why I wanna start Wednesday off with this is because Friday we're gonna talk about different delusions. And a lot of delusions have a common foundational theme. And that's a false belief held to be true, right? Despite evidence to the contrary, like there's no evidence that something's happening or that something is true, but that delusion says it's true. So I wanna talk a little bit about jealousy and toxic jealousy because a lot of jealousy tends to go into delusions. And so um, they tend to be the trigger for a lot of delusions, I should say. Um, so let's just go ahead and talk about toxic jealousy because it's gonna open up the, uh, the, you know, the doors and the windows, <laughs> so to speak, for us to be able to um, talk about delusions and then talk about a couple of other disorders that, that jealousy can, can relate to. All right, guys, so the benefits for you in this video today is that we're gonna talk about eight things that jealous and envious uh, people do and we're gonna talk about the toxic kind of envy. So we're not talking about, you know, the typical envy of I wish I had what he had, or I wish that was, you know, my husband, or I wish that was my wife, none of that stuff, right? I wish I had that car. That is normal, you know, I wish I had emotions, right? But what I'm talking about is the toxic jealousy and envy that is destructive. Um, and it has a negative effect on the other person, the person who is the envied. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get started uh, with this topic. So, when we are um, talking about toxic jealousy, we're talking about the kind of jealousy that results in some kind of outward display of hatred towards the person who is envied. So, vindictive behavior. Uh, negative facial expressions and comments, backwards compliments, that kind of thing. Uh, we're also talking about the kind of toxic jealousy that results in um, attempts to destroy someone's reputation or someone's, um, uh, the way that other people, I should say, uh, perceive the other individual. We're talking about toxic jealousy that results in other people being harmed as a result of the envied person um, becoming an issue to the person who's the jealous one. So for example, neighbors, that might be a really good example. Neighbors, uh, toxic jealousy can build in a neighbor. Um, you get a new car, you have a nice family, you look nice every time you come out, um, you know, your neighbor knows that you have a really good job. Um, that neighbor doesn't have to target the person that they envy per se, they can certainly target the envied person's family instead or friends. So that's the kind of toxic jealousy that we're talking about. And so I want to name a couple of traits that are very typical of somebody who is envious. All right. So I have my list here as always, and I want to go through this with you um, and we'll try to make this a short video. All right. So the first thing is a jealous person strictly dis likes you right but their dislike of you is not foundational it's not concrete it's not logical they can't say anything bad about you they can't say anything that you've done to them that's going to destroy them right you have an outwardly um expressed arrogance or narcissism right nothing that you have done has resulted in them disliking you. They dislike you because they dislike you because they're jealous of you, right? There's no there's no um, concrete foundational reason for it, okay? The next one is they undermine you, right? So most jealous people look for some way to undermine you, whether that's um, inadvertently or consciously and purposely, right? So undermining you might be, um, you know, um, 
saying things that are confusing to you, um, trying to make you sound confused or make other people think that you don't know what you're talking about. Um, they might also undermine you by dressing nicer than you, acting more louder and flamboyant than you. Um, they also might take opportunities at work to try to elevate themselves above you. And another way that they undermine you might be deception, right? They may try to take your spouse or do something else to make you the stupid one, right? Or at least come across or look like the uninformed one. So that's always their goal is to undermine you. The next one is they covet your lifestyle and your career, right? So that's pretty explainable. These are pretty explainable, so I'm not going to spend too much time on them. But someone who covets what you have constantly has you as a thought they constantly have you in the center of their mind because they want what you have and so because of that they may try to do things to mimic you to um, look like you sound like you do what you're doing um, they might also try to dress like you and get cars similar to you or get a job similar to yours right so you always want to watch out for that person who covets you underneath all of these things that i'm bringing up is an evil toxic behavior that's why we're talking about this not so much the topic of jealousy in and of itself that we're focusing on we're focusing on the toxic evil behavior and later i'm going to add a diagnostic label to this just so you'll have an understanding of what this kind of a person looks like okay so the next one is vindictive and toxic that's pretty explainable as well. They are very vindictive and toxic, right? They're always looking for some way to harm you emotionally, psychologically, socially, environmentally, right? They may even try to go to um, your boss. They might even try to go to your husband, your wife, your children, your teacher, your, your children's teacher, the principal, to make you look a certain way, right? The goal is to always keep you in a place of submission, at least in their mind. That's what makes them feel comfortable. The next one is narcissistic. Okay, so we're going to talk about this a little bit more because we're going to talk about personality disorders during this month as well. So stay tuned for that because a lot of people who are envious and jealous, they are narcissistic. They have an inferiority complex and they search for ways to make themselves feel better. And sometimes that's through... Um, you know, trying to elevate themselves above you. That's through talking about themselves all the time, making themselves look better than they actually are. They have this narcissistic flair to them. And usually when a person has that narcissistic flair, you can almost guarantee that they are inferior. They feel inferior on the inside. The next is impulsive and forceful. People who are envious and toxic are very forceful. Um, and very impulsive, right? They don't think before they act. They act before they think. They want instant gratification. For a lot of envious and jealous people, that instant gratification is to destroy the other person in some fashion. If they can do that, they feel a whole lot better about themselves. The next one is destructive behaviors and sneakiness, right? They're sneaky and they're destructive, but only because they want to find some way to get rid of you, to undermine you, right? To harm you. And last but not least, they have plastic behavior, right? There's nothing about them that's authentic. They come across as um, scripted. They come across as uh, well thought out. Uh, they plan what they're going to say and how they're going to, you know, be a certain way. They want to be perceived a certain way. You might get this undercurrent feeling that they're constantly holding back from you. They're not giving you what they should give you. They're just giving you like little seeds like, here you go, peasant, take that, like, take this, you know. Um, an example of that might be somebody who, you know, is very complex and checkered in their personality, maybe somebody who has borderline personality disorder um, or somebody who has narcissistic personality disorder traits. Uh, they, they seem checkered in their character in that they might try to confide in you even though they're envious of you. And yet at the same time, they're only giving you like little crumbs, right? You think they're confiding in you because maybe they need you or they like you. But the reality is that they're jealous. They don't like you. Uh, they don't respect you. And you can guarantee there's some manipulation in there somewhere, unfortunately. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for being with me today in this video. I hope that this was helpful and this kind of gave you a little bit of insight before we get to our next topic. We're also going to talk next week about um, uh, psychotic disorders. So we're going to talk about hallucinations. We're going to talk about delusions. And then I'm going to bring in some personality disorders as well next week. So stay tuned for that. If this video was helpful, I encourage you to give it a thumbs up, guys. Thanks so much for always being with me and for your comments and your participation. It's always appreciated. All right, guys. I'll see you, see you really soon. Um, let's see, when's our next video? Friday. So today's Wednesday. I will see you on Friday with a new video. Bye, guys.